Hello, and thanks for joining us. In this video, we're going to take a look at the difference between silicone and metal stamping dies. You may be wondering, what's the difference between the two, or which would be better suited to my unique application? We can provide a short, medium, or longer answer to this question. Let's start with short. A good rule of thumb requires taking a look at the substrate or material you wish to decorate. If you have a rigid substrate to decorate, you're going to likely need a flexible silicone die. On the other hand, if you have a flexible substrate to decorate, you're likely going to need a rigid metal die. A slightly longer answer to this question requires a look at the similarities and differences between silicone and metal dies. Both silicone and metal stamping dies provide high impact decoration with metallic, holographic, or prismatic hot stamp foils. There are some key differences as well, however. Silicone dies, for example, are more cost effective than steel or brass dies, require less stamping pressure than metal dies, provide better conformity to slight surface variations, and avoid plastic deformation around the artwork area. On the other hand, metal dies have their own list of performance benefits. These include the ability to provide an embossed visual effect, compatibility with higher printing speeds, and longer life due to the durability of metal materials. Do you need an even more detailed answer? If so, please head to our websites, unitedsilicone.com or itwcer.com. There, you will find detailed comparative information about silicone rubber and metal stamping dies. This information includes available materials, average die life, sinks, setup time, pressure and temperature requirements, decorative finishes, pricing guidelines, and compatible substrates for both silicone rubber and metal stamping dies. Would you like more information about our silicone or metal stamping dies? Please get in touch. We are eager to speak with you. Thank <laughs> you.